Well, yeah, but it's, I don't know, it, it feels like it's something you have to kind of learn. I mean, I just learned it over years of school. I know, but... No one I, really taught it to me, I don't know. I know, but I bet you, if somebody wanted to learn it hard enough, I could probably teach it to somebody. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking, I'm like, what would happen if he really wanted to, like, I bet... Because you've seen all those reality shows or whatever, and you know, like, in school. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever had these. They, but it, they they teach you really stupid things that you should know, but nobody knows, like, how to properly set a table. Yeah. And you learn all this crap, and you're like, oh, what do you mean the cup needs to go to the top right, and the, the fork and the knife on the one side, the spoon on the left and this plate this plate and da 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 it's like you know you can teach that to somebody it's hard hmm. it's really 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 hard but you can and since you know you can teach somebody that and you know you can teach people how to cook even though that's a real pain in the ass so I figured you could just teach people how to talk properly, be social. Yeah. Wow, so I think everyone in this is part of some little pre-made. Oh yeah, there's Blitz. And there's Smash. Yeah. And then Rand seems part of us, so. Yeah, oh. I don't know Smash, though. I've never heard of those guys. Yeah, me either. They're probably some mids pre-made. <laughs> yeah. But you can see, and I know he watches my videos, so I have to be relatively careful. Sorry, Dust. But you can see how he's just kind of, um... Sort of kind of half-ordering everybody around, and... He, he, he doesn't realize... He didn't do the same thing you did. Which is actually look at them first and realize that Blitz is probably going to be just fine. Hmm. You know, he doesn't need to, you know, try to... I don't know. It's oh, it's yeah. just... It's stuff... It's like you said. It's stuff that you... You would learn. But, but I think the problem is... Is if you don't... I think, I think some people... Reject... Society... And I think that's why we get into a lot of the problems that we get into... They want to fit in, but they really don't understand because they're not wired like everybody else. And so, as everybody else is growing up, they kind of get pushed in the other direction instead of being included. And then it transfers over into from elementary school to high school, from high school to or junior high to high school, from high school to college. And some people get pulled in more and more and more and more, and some people get pushed out more and more and more and more. Mm. And it's that thing I keep talking to you about where if you get into some sort of behavioral psychology thing, you're probably going to run into more and more and more people that have been forcibly pushed out of society because yeah. they refuse to accept it. But what yeah. they... Yeah, but what they don't do which you'd think, and it's actually the main reason why I started this channel in the first place, is they'll reject society, but they won't go make their own group. Hmm. Because what they'll do is they'll go get that group together and immediately start rejecting it. Yeah. And I watch it all the time. And the whole channel was basically made because I wanted to start a group. A group that didn't exist before. Which is PvPers that were sick and tired of the PvP community. <laughs> 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 and I wanted to I wanted to show everybody that there's a second PvP community out there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a pre-med on the other side that I see, um, Juliet dies last. 
Yeah. Definitely never heard of them, but there's like at least three of them. No, Maybe they've four. been, uh, that Juliet dies last. Um, they've been, they've been playing tonight, but yeah, before tonight I've never seen them. Mm. Oh, weird. <laughs> oh. And Juliet's part of them. <laughs> Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Probably like the guild leader or something. Hmm. Yeah, they're all different people from, um, the Romeo and Juliet, um, story. Oh. Mm-hmm. Which is a true story, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Except it didn't happen like how they said it happened. It actually happened in Mexico. <laughs> well. I'm joking. That would be really cool, though. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh come on! You, I'm sure you had to read Romeo and Juliet. Well, yeah, kind of, but kind of, <laughs> <laughs> kind, of. Uh, <laughs> kind of had to read Romeo. And Juliet. But <laughs> isn't Shakespeare mandatory reading at your school? Um, we do. Uh, we did Homer and the Odyssey. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Simpsons version. No. When we read stuff, we don't, like, well, in English class, we read stuff fully, but, I mean, with history class and stuff, we, like, read stuff, and we start it, and then we learn a little bit about it, and then they forget about it and go on to the next thing, because they don't have time to finish it. So, that's what I mean by kinda. I mean, you kinda learned it, but not really. Gotcha. It's not really, doesn't really count. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Well, I think it was more filler than anything, but man, when we got Romeo and Juliet freaking rammed down our throats so bad, we had to watch the alternate versions and the director's cut and the movie and the book. And it's just, it's just like, I think it was all just an excuse to... Oh, I'm gonna die. I need and to I'm gonna to kill me. Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's Mercu... Oh, that's why he didn't understand. See, that's Mercutio. That's another character in the Romeo and Juliet friend story. Oh, who did I just see? Oh. Wow. Girl right. code. Um, she's a guardian, and I. We kind of have been going up through um, PVP together. I mean, not like as a group or anything, but like she pretty much only PVPs, and uh, I saw her starting at like fifteen or something, and she's already thirty-six. That's freaking crazy. So she's beating me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There you go. That's a uh, Bobcat, Bobcat, Estino, Estino, Bobcat. Estino. Hey. Why, why did you just introduce us? We, what? <laughs> yeah, I forgot to say we haven't met before. I know, but it's like if we were in a room together, or, you know, since you guys can't see each other, and since I'm the only one that knows, it's polite, and I'm, I'm just not like. Right. I'm just secretly. I, I mean, yesterday he just joined, and I said, oh, I bet that's Bobcat. And it was, so... <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, but you'd so. laugh your ass off when when we get into raid call. Brute's like, Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? I'm like, dude, I'm on your raid call every night. I'm bad at voices. I'm like, I'm the only person in your freaking raid call that sounds like me. Yeah. What? What? Die, die, die. And then he you calls... Swine. Die, you swine. <laughs> Well, well, so I don't know. It's just well, it's I'll have to get a fifty-five Republic player, and then we'll do that. We'll do what? We'll PVP with uh, with him. No, are you crazy? <laughs> it's so much more fun to make a fifty-five and kill him. Ah. <laughs> oh, you missed a good night. Oh, a good. Well, I think I missed you by an hour earlier on before I went to bed last night. But yeah, I was grouped up. Did. Oh, five matches of Galactic Starfighter with Matt Croft and Carl. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, storming night. I have to be quiet because it's early in the morning here. My wife's in the room above me, fast asleep still. Oh, another thing, bloody control O F. Shut up. O F. Shut up. It's not hard to fucking remember. And plus it's control shift F, you dumb. Control shift F, sorry. I know what I meant to say. Fail. Okay, you can never tell me to do that again. That's it. That was your one chance and you failed. Well, I've told you to do it many times. You still don't bloody listen. <laughs> <laughs> what character are you on with? Uh, oh, Armitage. Because um, uh, Estinio yeah. doesn't have... Um, Oh, nom, nom, nom. Coffee, 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 coffee. Oh. Oh, Steeno, do you know what spec your parents' PC is off the top of your head? Uh, no. <laughs> do you know what chips got inside of it? Um, I can find out, but not off the top of my head. Look, it's not overly important. I say that going over the conversation yesterday, the quickest way to improve it fast is, yes, solid state straight away. And if you can, minimum of 8 gig of RAM. So if you can buy, bang a couple of 4 gig sticks inside of it, ideal and then you should have a decent gaming computer or well, semi-decent right. but yeah solid state is just the, the quick and easiest way of making it run super fast because SWOTOR is a very processor heavy yeah. right, it's cool. not, not graphical but it's just very heavy on your processor yeah <laughs> oh, 37. My word, you are coming on. Yeah, um... Oh, that's it. I didn't realize it. Um, yeah, uh... He sent me a uh, a seventy something dollar one that was that looked pretty good, and I'll probably get that. I do, yeah. First operating system and slow to I said you're probably looking. You you no doubt you'll squeeze on a sixty gig. You're probably looking at one hundred and twenty gig minimum solid state, because slow to is going to be about a fifty gig file on its own. Yeah. I think it's the game and about 33 gigs of updates. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you have your game file and then you have your patch file. I know. And the patch file's twice the size of the game file. <laughs> I know every few years they need to just cut Turn it. the old patch, yeah. They need to cut it and then start over with a new. Do a fresh version with all the patches back.